Hello guys, my name is Prince and this is Smart Center. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Post your comments and questions on my social media handles and I'll respond to it. We are still on the topic mensuration. In the previous video, we solved a question on finding the total surface area and volume of a triangular pyramid. In this video, we are going to solve a question on finding the total surface area and volume of composite ships. The question for this video is, the model in the figure below is made up of a cylinder with a closed base and a hollow cone. The cone fits directly to the open end of the cylinder. Calculate correctly the nearest whole number, I. The, mod, the volume of the model, II, the total surface area of the model. In the video on plane figures, I explained composite figures. When you have two figures put together to form a single figure, the resulting figure is called a composite figure. A typical example is what you have here. We have a cone on top of a cylinder. The question say, says that, the cylinder the end of the cylinder is closed and the cone is also hollow so the open part of the cone fits onto the open part of the cylinder so the base of the cylinder here is closed the diameter of the cylinder is 14 centimeters the height of the cylinder is 30 centimeters and the height of the cone is 15 centimeters the question says we should find the volume of the model, this model here, and the total surface area of this model. We will solve the first part in this video, then we will solve the second part in the next video. And we are to take pi as 22 divided by 7. So, volume of the model. To find the volume of this model, we split it into the two individual models that we have here. So here, to find the volume of this figure, we will split it into the two individual figures we have, that is the cylinder and the cone. So the volume of this model is equal to volume of the cylinder plus volume of the cone. So you will first need to find the volume of the cylinder. From the diagram here, we can see that the cylinder has a height of 30 centimeters and a diameter of 14 centimeters. From the video on cylinders, we learned that the volume of a cylinder is equal to pi r squared h, where h is the height of the cylinder and r is the radius of the cylinder. So in this diagram, we have been given the diameter of the cylinder as 14 centimeters, but we know that radius is equal to diameter divided by 2. So if the diameter is 14 centimeters, then the radius is equal to 14 centimeters divided by 2 which is 7 centimeters. The height of the cylinder is 30 centimeters. So we now have the height of the cylinder and radius of the cylinder. So we can find the volume of the cylinder, which is pi r squared h. The question said we should take pi as 22 divided by 7. So we have 22 divided by 7 times r squared, 7 centimeters squared times h, which is 30 centimeters. When you do this on your calculator, you will have 4620 centimeters cube. So the volume of the cylinder is 4620 centimeters cube. We now have to find the volume of the cone. Volume of the cone. From the videos on cones, we learned that the formula for finding the volume of a cone is equal to 1 divided by 3 times pi r squared h. Now, the question told us that the cone fits directly onto the cylinder. That means that it means that the distance from here to here, that is the diameter of the cylinder, which we have as 14 centimeters, is the same as the diameter of the cone. Since the cone fits directly onto the cylinder, so the diameter, the diameter of the cylinder will be the same as the diameter of the cone. Meaning that if point O is the center of the circular base of the cone 
and A is a point on the circular base of the cone and we draw a line from O to A this line here is going to be the radius of the cone and since the diameter of the cylinder is the same as the diameter of the cone then it means that the diameter of the cone is also 14 centimeters so the radius of the cell or the radius of the cone is going to be 14 centimeters divided by 2 since radius is equal to diameter divided by 2. We have been given the height of the cone here that is from the center to the vertex as 15 centimeters so from the center to the vertex is also 15 centimeters so now we have the radius of the cone as 7 centimeters and height of the cone as 15 centimeters so we can find the volume so the volume of this cone is equal to we have the radius as 7 centimeters and height as 15 centimeters the volume is equal to 1 divided by 3 times pi is 22 divided by 7 times r is the radius that is 7 centimeters squared times height which is h 15 centimeters you simplify this on your calculator or you find this on your calculator and you have 770 centimeters cube remember the question told us to write our answer to the nearest whole number so 770 centimeters cube so we now have the volume of the cone we also have the volume of the cylinder so the volume of the model is equal to volume of the cylinder plus volume of the cone volume of the cylinder is 4620 centimeters cube volume of the cone is 770 centimeters cube so the volume of the model is equal to 4620 centimeters cube plus 770 centimeters cube and this will give us 5390 centimeters cube so the volume of the model is 5390 centimeters cube the question said we should find the total surface area of the model we are going to do that in the next video so see you in the next video and let's continue solving this question